Hi everyone, Dr. Scott Beyer here, and today we're gonna to be going over one of the more common causes of vertigo or dizziness or balance-related issues. And it's been estimated that anywhere between 30 to 40% of people who have vertigo actually have this. Now there's a bunch of other things that can cause vertigo, but this is the most common. And uh, the most common that we see is something called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV for short. And if you guys have seen the uh, other video, you know that when it comes to where our body knows it's in space, it really all boils down to the uh, integration of certain information that's sent up to the brain. And our body is equipped with like hundreds of thousands of these certain sensors or receptors. Some are located in our muscles called muscle spindles or Golgi tendon organs. Some are what we know about our eyes so we can be able to see our environment as well. And then when it comes to BPPV, there's this little, uh, they call it a, a bony apparatus or a bony labyrinth called the vestibular apparatus and it sits deep within our inner ear. Now the main reason why we have this is to be able to detect anything and everything that's going on with our head. So it's, it's equipped with uh, these things called otolithic organs and these otolithic organs sit right here and what they do is they detect like linear movement, okay, or translation. So like forward and back, side to side, or up and down like if you were in an elevator. So sometimes you're in an elevator without any windows and you know you're going up or down, it's because of these otolithic organs, okay. Now inside of here there's this fluid and what that'll do is, is there's also these little hair cells and when we move a certain way it'll deflect the hair cells one way or another okay and that will send depending on which way they're being deflected it'll send information into the brain with with uh, saying hey this is what our head is doing is it moving forward backward up or down or side to side now attached to the uh, otolithic organs is these uh, things called semicircular canals, okay? And they also have fluid in them as well. And I'm gonna grab my uh, black marker here. And inside of these semicircular canals, there's more of these little hair cells, okay? And the hair cells, what will happen is these semicircular canals detect head rotation, forward and back, side to side, or something that they call roll, okay? And what will happen is that when, we, when these move, the, they move around the fluid. So almost like if you were to have a, a glass of water with some ice in it and you rotate that glass really fast, the, the glass will move around the water and the ice kind of sits there and doesn't really move very much. The same thing will happen with these semicircular canals. Now, what will happen in BPPV is that inside of the orolithic organs there's these little calcium carbonate crystals that rest on top of this membrane that's on top of the hair cells. And these crystals, what will happen uh, for whatever reason, maybe head trauma, maybe just uh, it's idiopathic or, or age, is one of these crystals will come out and it'll fall into one of these semicircular canals. Now really it can fall into uh, any of the three, but the one that's more common because of the anatomy is the posterior semicircular canal. And what that'll do is it'll rest up against this hair cell, and when that hair cell is deflected that certain way, um, this little apparatus will say, hey, we're moving our head you know, backwards. We're tilting our head back right now. Meanwhile, when this is sending in certain information, these other organs are saying, hey, you know, our head is perfectly still right now. You know, the eyes know where we're at, as well as the, the sensors and the muscles in the neck. And if that information can't be calibrated by this area of the brain called the cerebellum, you get dizzy, okay? So one of the, the first things that we look for, and for patients who are coming into this clinic who are dizzy, is this right here, okay? And there's certain tests for it. And the good thing is, is that if you know your anatomy, what you can do is you can do certain repositioning maneuvers. One of them, one of the more popular ones is Epley's, another one's like the barbecue roll. There are certain things that you can do to get this, to bring this crystal back into that little bony labyrinth where it belongs. Um, if you guys found this, this uh, video informative, give us a like on Facebook, or if you wanna read more on, on everything and anything regarding the health of your brain or your body, visit our website right here, ibrainandbody.com. We're constantly posting Posting stuff, uh, inf informational videos for you guys. Hope you guys found this informative and have a wonderful day.